I've been saddled with the same living room furniture for 30 years, all mismatched and grotesque. Every stain on every piece of fabric a reminder of something horrible, some disastrous day I had to live through. <laughs> Is it too much to want a fresh start? Is it too much to hope for a clean palette? Huh? I look at that sofa. Blech. I know it was cream when we bought it. <laughs> it's just a washed out color of dashed hopes. <laughs> Chairs are the shade of disgust. The carpet is matted down with resignation. What the hell does that mean? Is it wrong of me to want a new beginning? I'm not that old. I'm not so old that I should just give up. People who quit are quitters. People who fight are fighters. I suppose that's so obvious, isn't it? I don't want to just dry up and crumble away, so you can either participate or you can just complain. I'm dying, Rita. Yeah, I know, but try to be positive. <laughs> He's dying. Oh, for God's sake, Lisa, everything with you is tragedy. No, you don't understand. Well, I mean, we're all dying, aren't we? Not this week, we're not. What do you mean? He's dying. What? He's got cancer, apparently in every inch of him, and he's gonna die. Tonight, tomorrow, maybe next week. Not next week. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! That's right, and they've known this. They've known this for some time, the two of them, and they never told us. You're dying? Did you hear me? They have known this for months. They never said a thing. We didn't want to bother you. <laughs> you believe this? Our father is cleaning the life by a cobweb. They never mentioned it. Well, actually, I think that's nice. I think it's sort of considerate. What? I think it's thoughtful. You're serious? In fact, given the grotesquely narcissistic and infantile standard by which they normally operate, I think it's surprisingly generous. <laughs> Criticism. 